This is for the benefit of those um, that may be repairing or restoring an Elmo ST1200 projector. Now these things were notorious for um, having decayed belts on the motor. They turn into like a thick tar-like snotty substance that tends to go everywhere. It's damn hard to remove. But the good news is um, that belts are readily available and rather cheap. Um, but what I found to be a bit problematic is finding information as to which belt goes where and how to actually do it. Now you get three belts, you get a, a very long one which goes between these two cogs over here. Easy way of doing it is removing that screw, that cog comes completely out, squish it, the um, belt through that end, pop it around the other cog and then screw it back in. The next size up belt actually goes around the motor spindle. As you can see over there, you've got two sides, one for countries that have got 60 hertz power and the other one is for 50 hertz power, such as Australia. Now, I didn't really know how this went on, so it was a bit of trial and error. I didn't destroy any film in the process and, you know, looking at drawings in the manual, it wasn't exactly clear. Um, it goes around the motor spindle and over here you got like the two little um, rubber wheels that hit the shutter it actually goes around both of them and then back to the motor obviously so you know you got yeah so it goes around both and back all right cool now i was left over with another much smaller um belt didn't know where the hell that went but i noticed in the manual there was a big black light going on the other unused part of the two rubber wheels so that's where the other one goes and i just projected some film and it worked it does work without it but you know you may as well use that rubber belt if you paid for it and that's where it belongs that's where i was stuck so that's where you put it and now i bought my, got myself a nice lovely elmo projector which you usually find for anywhere between four to five hundred bucks in perfect working order elmo st 1200d which um, adds the film counter which the belt has decayed on that but i didn't replace it because it doesn't really serve much purpose for me but back to what i was saying these things go for anything between about $400 to $600. I paid $160 for mine shipped locally, non-working, no belts. Um, the motor was a bit seized, but a bit of um, lubricant fixed that up. Belts, about $20. A couple of spare lamps, about $20. So I got myself a bargain for under $200. A nice working machine. So it's worthwhile. So there you go. If you're replacing the belts, now you know where to put them.